Oh boy, I'm gonna open up my Ableton project. What's this? Really? Hello and welcome. Today we're diving into the chaos that is Ableton Live's file management system. Because who doesn't love organizing their lives into neat little folders, am I right? <laughs> right? First of all, if you have the option, get a super duper fast SSD where you can keep your projects on. That way, it's more neatly organized and if your house burns down, you can just go in and grab it and run away. Just the most important stuff, you know? Okay, let's get into it. First of all, we got these live sets. These are your individual project files with the fancy ALS extension. These are what you open when you want to go into a project and work on it. These are the gateway into that project. These project files automatically get produced when you save. And a pro tip, every time you do a drastic change in a project, you should go into here and go into save live set as. Then you should go down here and you should change the name to the same name as before, but version two or three or whatever version it is. That way, if you want to go back to an earlier version of what you created, you can just go into that file instead of trying to recreate what you deleted two hours ago, maybe. But wait, it doesn't end there. These live sets live inside something called projects. It's like that Russian nesting doll thing you got when you were a kid, like you open up and there's something inside and you open that up and there's something inside again. <laughs> Crazy. The project folder is the big mama. That's what holds everything inside. The live set, the samples and whatever junk you may throw in there. Now let's break this down. Inside the project folder, you've got the samples folder. This is where your project samples samples live, your recordings, your samples, everything really. Think of it as a pantry for your audio snacks. Then there's this Ableton project info, uh, metadata settings, uh, boring stuff, moving on. And then you have all your projects, all your different versions of projects. But what if you don't want to lose your precious little samples? Well, use the collect all and save button. This magical button hoards all your project samples into your project folder at once. It's like Marie Condoring your audio files. Does this sample spark joy? Yes? Well, into the folder you go. Now you will never ever get that no, dumb missing no, files no, error again. No. Side note, collect all and save doesn't save your plugins or your Max for Life audio effects or something. So if you want to open your project on another computer, you should make sure of one of two things. Either you gotta make sure that the new computer you're trying to open the project on has the exact same plugins you use in the exact same version, or you simply need to freeze and flatten your audio that's using the plugins. Now, let's take a look at the user library. If you make a new preset for any of Ableton stock plugins or instruments like that, it will be saved in here. You can save whole chains or just individual presets. It's also here you will find your saved grooves, templates and clips. You can also use the user library as a place to store your samples, but I usually don't. I like to keep my samples on the same SSD where I have my project files on. Oh, let's take a look at the browser itself. This bad boy lets you navigate through your project files, your user library and anything else on your computer. Bonus tip, you should really use the color coded collections tab you have up here. You can rename the colors to anything you want and you can categorize your plugins, your samples, your effects, so they will be easier to find. Nice. I have the plugins I use the most categorized into different colors, so delay is blue, for example. You can drag and drop files like you're the king of file management. You can open up earlier projects and you can steal some of those tracks in that project and you can put it into your current project. It's amazing! Pro tip, create some templates. Set up your perfect project starting point and save it as a template. Right there. Now you have an instant workflow boost. It's like cloning your own creativity. It's crazy. So there you have it. Ableton file management system demystified and conquered. Now go forth, organize like a boss and make some great tunes. Like, subscribe and hit that bell or I'll organize your software next time. Click it, click the video. YouTube thinks you like this video. You should click it. If you have time, you should click it. I won't force you, I can't, but you should click it. Help me out, please, come on. Help me out.